What's up, guys? It's Cuz. Got an NU match here against Zach from the y Smog on Wi Fi Battle Finder, so let's do this. He is gonna lead off with his Illumis. I think that's how you say it, and I'm just gonna throw up my Rupert, and it's my standard lead, pretty much, and he's gonna rain dance up. He's dancing that rain. And I went for a Lava Plume, which in hindsight, I should have just gone for the Stealth Rocks, because Lava Plume does nothing because of that rain. So he's gonna switch out into his, uh, Dulius? Dulius, or Solios? I have no idea which one it is. One of those jello looking guys. And I just hit it with a earth power, I think it was. I wasn't paying attention right there, but he uses a trick room. And I actually thought that I was gonna outspeed him, because, you know, Cameron is slow as shit. He's a giant rock fucking camel. But this guy, just. Solios is so slow he's moving backwards, you know? He's got a base 30 speed or something like that. I don't know. But I just take him out with another Earth Power, so he's gone. Don't have to worry about that guy setting up trick rooms again. He's gonna send out his Swana. His big old neck, weird looking swan. I'm gonna switch out into my Pistachio, because he is turtly enough for the Turtle Club. He's more turtly enough. I don't know. He's, he's a fucking turtle, so he can make it in. And he's just gonna absorb those surfs and then cripple him with a top toxic well he just goes for a hurricane and I know I can take at least two hurricanes and weed him down with that life orb toxic damage that's all I really got for this guy and I'm gonna hit him with a skull and this skull did, did a lot more than I thought it would do I thought I was gonna do next to nothing because it's part water but I don't know, it might have been the boost from the rain. And that hurricane is going to take me out. So I switch into my... What do I switch into? I can't remember. Oh, Nancy. Nancy, my sweet little chat hog. And I'm going to hit him with a hyper voice. Right to the neck. Choke that thing out with a hyper voice. And it is down this last thing to worry about and then the rain stops which is nice he sends out this dick wolf right right off the bat i know this thing is going to be a dick i can just tell he looks like a dick and i go back into my rupert and get smashed with some icicles but that's okay because i don't really need my rupert anymore so i'm fine with that and then i realize he's Life Orb, I don't really see a lot of Life Orb pilot spawns, but that's okay. I'd rather Life Orb than a Violite, because those things are beastly. So I send out my pincer, and he switches into his Illumides, and I'm going to hit it with a close combat, and just take it out, just punch it all over. That's a, that's a lot of punches, really fast. And that is down for the count, so we can't set up any more rain, which is perfect for me. Even though it's probably not a big deal. And he sends out Bob Saget. I don't I don't get the nickname right there. But I'm just gonna punch Bob Saget in the face. And we won't have to listen to his dirty comedy anymore. Cause he is KO. And my defenses are dropping like a sack of heavy objects. And he sends out this Wormadam ground, his bait blade, he's gonna let it rip. And I don't know why I stayed in and just kept punching him. I don't know. I think I just... I wanted to get it, his HP down as much as I could before I switched into something else to take him out. Because I know he's got weak special defense, but he's got pretty good base defense. I think it's like 106 or something weird like that. But anyway, I go into my Leafy on here because he will just wall the crap out of him max defense and he's just a bulky beast he's just gonna hit me with gyro ball and then earthquakes and I'm just gonna weed him down with leaf blade because that's really all I can do I don't want to send out my 
my Raichu and then get hit by an earthquake. Cool. Oh, and he gets a crit and it, it just does nothing because those guys don't have the best attack. And it's resisted. So I'm going to switch out for my, my Chatot here to take the earthquake because it doesn't affect him because he's flying. And then I'm going to encore him into earthquake so his Bade Blade basically becomes useless for a while. Basically forcing him to switch out so I can set up a nasty plot. And that is what I do right here actually. And he brings out his goddamn dick wolf. I hate this thing because you will see. This dick wolf is a dick because he has ice shard. And I don't get it get to use my plus two heat wave, which would probably have taken it out. So I'm pretty sure they don't have the best special defense, and it's super effective. This is part ice. But them's the breaks. So that's bye bye chat off. So I'm just gonna send out my bris and just cut his shit up. Actually punches shit up, because I just close combat the crap out of everything. Let's punch him right in his, his little nose, his schnoz. And here comes Wormadam. Takes a little bit of rocks damage. He's gonna get punched again. This thing is just taking an almighty beating. I... I do not envy this Wormadam. He's gonna hit me with a Gyro Ball and that's gonna be close to taking me out, but not close enough. Close close but no cigar, that's the saying I was looking for. And I'm just gonna close combat him. And I believe he's gonna take me out with another Gyro Ball here. Yeah. So Good, good for you, Wormerdam. You, you got pincer. That's what you wanted, hey? Bade blade. It's not even spinning around. I don't know. Anyway, I sent out my dirty, my dirty mouse, then my Raichu. Hit him with a super effective hidden power ice, and then that would be the game. So that's a good game, dude. I really had fun, and yeah. Peace out.